this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's, it's been in the back of my mind. We, we wanted to do it about 15 years ago. The timing wasn't there. We wanted to do it about five years ago. The timing wasn't there. The timing is there now. This is the time to do it, and we want to do it. Tulsa has been really, really good to us. Tulsa provided me with a place to go to school, a place to go to church. I was baptized, wed in District 39. Our first duplex was in District 39. When we moved back from Alabama, we bought a house in District 39. When we moved back from Alabama again, we bought a house in District 39. And when we moved back from Mississippi, we bought a house in 39. We've always been a part of Tulsa, always been pr proud of it, always wanted to serve, and always wanted to represent in a, in, with, with integrity in the best way possible whenever I had something on my chest that said Tulsa. And I will always do that again, and that is what I want to do in District 39. David Rader, football star, coach, business executive, and author, started his football career as a Will Rogers Roper. He also excelled in baseball and was named to the all-conference first team in basketball. As a senior, he was named Boy of the Year. He was highly sought after by college football coaches as a quarterback. University of Tulsa star receiver and future NFL Hall of Famer Steve Largent was given the mission to get that guy. That began his long association with Tulsa University. Dave married his Will Rogers High School class of 1975 sweetheart Janet Shoemaker. In 1980, he earned his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Tulsa. As a player at TU, Dave was the Golden Hurricane starting quarterback in 1977 and 1978. He threw for 2,674 career yards and guided Tulsa to a 9-2 record in 1978. He later joined the New York Giants as a quarterback. His head coach was Ray Perkins. After a brief stint in the NFL, he worked as an engineer in New York City and then in Tulsa. Dave began his coaching career at Alabama in 1983 as one of the first coaches hired by Ray Perkins, his former head coach with the New York Giants. It was in December of 1982 that uh, Coach Perkins uh, called me to go to Alabama with him. I had played for him at the, at the Giants. I talked with him like three days before when he was still with the Giants and asked him if he was going to Alabama because the rumor was Coach Bryant was going to retire. And he denied it, but three days later there we were talking on the phone. He asked me to go to Alabama with him. I gave 48 hours notice to my employer. We were certainly glad to join him thrilled to be a part of the Alabama family and happy to go. After four seasons with the Crimson Tide, Dave accepted an invitation in 1986 from Rocky Felker. At that time, Felker was the new head coach. Dave became the youngest offensive coordinator in the Southeast Conference at age 29. Felker had been a star quarterback at Mississippi State and was welcomed back to his alma mater as head coach. Dave would follow that career path, moving back to Tulsa the following season as assistant head coach in charge of quarterbacks. It was indeed an honor to be the head coach at my alma mater, the University of Tulsa, especially being so young. And I just didn't know what I didn't know, but we went at it full speed ahead. Probably, well, with that about, the biggest blessing of the whole time was around the individuals, the uh, type of quality of uh, student athletes we had. Yes, we had All-Americans, we had many play in the NFL, but over and over again, we had quality people come out. We actually graduated at a higher rate than the rest of the campus, and we turned out attorneys, and we turned out doctors, we turned out teacher after teacher, uh, good business people. Um, the University of Tulsa attracted people like that, and I was certainly 
blessed and benefited from those associations. ...to play in the third quarter. More from the Freedom Bowl in Anaheim in a moment. Rubley looking downfield. Pass intended for his tight end, Phil Natowski. And he is bumped. Pass interference. First down, Golden Hurricane. Goal. Jackson again. Touchdown, Tulsa. Is the Raycom Television Network. Tied for stride. 5'11", 200 pounds, and he is covering a wide receiver downfield 35 yards, and he's running stride for stride with him. But this time he'll let it sail, and oh, does he get it. T.C. Wright backs up, loses the handle, falls on it at the 8, loses the football, and Tulsa's got it. Tulsa has got it at the 2-yard line. Second down and goal, the ball still at the 4-yard line. Jackson with 40 carries, 184 yards. Making 41 carries and four touchdowns. Tulsa finished that season ranked 21st nationally in the Associated Press and USA Today CNN polls. Dave was honored as NCAA District Coach of the Year and his team was inducted into the University of Tulsa Athletic Hall of Fame. After 13 seasons at his alma mater, 12 of them as head coach, Dave returned to the private sector in 1999. But he found he couldn't stay away from the game. It was in the May of uh, 2003, I received a call on a Sunday afternoon from Mike Shula to go with him uh, to coach at Alabama. Mike had been one of our quarterbacks from my person at Alabama. And I looked forward so much to going back, coaching for him. A little bit of a change of uh, roles there, but it worked out very well. Alabama program was really strained at that time, being on NCAA probation, and we did a really, really good job of putting it back together. It was great to work with him there, and that's how that all came together. After three years in private business, Dave returned once again to coaching in 2010. He joined Houston Nuts staff at the University of Mississippi as offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. After one season at Ole Miss, he left coaching for good and again came back to Tulsa. I always thought I could write a book and uh, I would tell Janet every now and then, I'm gonna write a book, I'm gonna write a book. And finally, when we lost our job at the University of Mississippi, she said, just write the book. So we wrote the book and it was uh, based on uh, meeting with the, the many teams as I was a head coach and meeting with the individual players as a coach, the things that we stressed to them. And one thing I thought was kind of missing in our society that was on commitment. I know football teaches of that. All sorts of co-curricular activities teach that, but nothing like football. So we wrote a book on commitment. Steve Largent was good to me, and he wrote the forward to it, as did uh, Jim Stovall. And that's how that book came together in um, the fall of 2011. Dave is a member of the Tulsa Public Schools Athletic Hall of Fame. He and Gil Cloud, the TPS Athletic Director, often visit the construction site for the new Will Rogers Stadium. Dave is also very active as an officer, director, and committee chair of the Will Rogers High School Community Foundation. And he has done so since 2010 when it was formed. But what we can say to you today is that we want to make you an honorary roper. And oh, thank you for all thank you've you. done for our high school. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. I got it. Okay. I got it. Dave and Janet have returned to Tulsa every time his coaching position kicked them out of state. Their son, Daniel, served as an officer in the U.S. Navy and has a mechanical engineering degree from Oklahoma State. He and his wife, Deidre, have three sons. Son, Jordan, has a PhD in nuclear engineering from Georgia Tech. Jordan and his wife, Emily, have two sons and a daughter. Daughter, Kendall, has a degree from Texas Christian in speech pathology and earned a master's from TU. She and her husband, Michael, have a son and a daughter. 
Dave has served on the boards of John 316 Mission, Tulsa Public Schools Athletics Hall of Fame, and the Will Rogers High School Community Foundation. In 2008, he was awarded the Merv Johnson Integrity and in Coaching Award by the Oklahoma chapter of the National Football Foundation and College Hall of Fame. Dave is a former board member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Big Brothers and Sisters, and Heritage Family Services. He has also served on the American Football Coaches Association's Football Issues and Ethics Committees. He was elected to the Oklahoma Senate in 2016, serving as Vice Chair of the Senate Republican Caucus and Vice Chair of the Appropriations Committee and as a member of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Health and Human Services. Senator Rader was awarded the 2018 Legislator of the Year Award by the Oklahoma Academy of Family Physicians. And being inducted to the Tulsa Public Schools Athletics Hall of Fame, uh, I was very, very honored. You see, for me, going to Will Rogers High School was something I always wanted to do, always wanted to do. I know there have been better athletes than me at Will Rogers and for sure in the city of Tulsa, but no one, no one was more proud to wear the blue and gold than me. I was proud to be a roper. I've always been proud to be a roper, and I will always be that way. Going to Will Rogers was great for me, and to be inducted in Tulsa Public Schools Hall of Fame to represent Will Rogers was indeed an honor. Dave may be best recognized for his 12 seasons as head coach of the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. 